This is morning of day 21. It's probably like 55 degrees out. We put the rain fly up. Not for rain, to help with the heat. Still got kind of cold last night. Uh, sleep was probably like a four or a five out of 10. So we're gonna need to stop somewhere and find some long sleeve underwear to help with the cold, cause it's gonna keep getting cold. It's like 6, 10 in the morning. This is where our bikes are at. <laughs> it's a campground over there. And our tent's over there. We are up and out. It is 6.30. I think that was the fastest time we've gotten up and packed and out on the road. And it is pretty chilly. We're going to get some riding in early. Once my leg's woken up, I don't feel too bad. So hopefully this will continue for the rest of the day. was giving him, him trouble earlier. This fine gentleman threw our bikes in the truck and got us up about, what are we, probably about 10 miles? About 10, 12 miles. Yeah, cut out 10, 10, 12 miles out. Made us cover some ground today, which was good, because there's a lot of up and down riding of nothing. And we're on our way to Selma. So now we're in Pleasant Hill, Alabama, where there's also a whole lot of nothing. Uh, the guy saw the Trump flag. And he said, you all want to ride, so why not? We're still trying to get to the Trans-America Trail, which is the ride that takes you across the country. And then there's a whole lot of nothing before that. The weather has absolutely changed from Florida. I now ride in the morning with my Gore-Tex Packlight Gore Bikewear jacket. We found this at Goodwill in Miami earlier, if you remember that. I wear it in the morning, but in Florida, we were waiting for it to get cool riding conditions. Here, it's actually a little bit too chilly in the morning and gets nice around like 9, 10, 11, and we can actually ride throughout the afternoon, it's okay. 36 mile ride to Selma, Alabama. Edmund Pudis Bridge. This is the Alabama River. Apparently it's very historic with voters' rights, civil rights movement. We haven't eaten breakfast yet, it's around 11 o'clock. We're gonna get some breakfast lunch. You hot in a world so that food was so good. I was feeling so starved for calories. I destroyed it in like three minutes. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. I just want to take a nap now. It was like Thanksgiving. Turkey stuffing, potatoes. I wish every coffee shop was designed like this. They got outlets all along the bottom. All along outlets. It's the best design ever. No one's fighting for outlets. Everywhere we go, we gotta, gotta look for outlets. Yeah, and there's one or none. Yeah. I got a single shot of espresso. Leo's writing in his journal. He's got, oh, look at this, he wrote so much. This is gonna be so awesome to go through. I was updating uh, a blog on the Green Room website. Are you playing the thrift store lotto? Are you playing the thrift store lotto? Selma, Alabama is pretty cool. There's a lot of historic buildings around here. We were learning about the Bloody Sunday March, which actually took place on in the space where the bridge where we came in on. But it's a lot of brick buildings. Uh, there's a Salvation Army and a Goodwill we're gonna go to to try to see if we can get some cold weather gear because we've been freezing for the past three nights, so. This is the third thrift store I think we've been to on the trip. You hot in a world so cold. You hot in a world so cold. You hot in a world so Probably not gonna fit well, but it will keep me warm. Probably gonna get one of these. 49 miles in today, trying to get past this place called Uniontown, which we've been warned about by like 10 people. Ride through there, it's supposed to be pretty hard, I guess. We've been cruising, the wind is not against us, so we've been cruising for about 30 minutes, going 19, 18, 17 miles per hour. We're trying to bang out as many miles as we can today, either by truck bed or by riding. We're still gonna do 50, 60, 70 riding if not more, and then camp. Where are we camping? Thermopolis? 
We're trying to get to this place called Thermopolis or Permopolis or something. We're banging out. I feel great. It's probably that food and that coffee. I feel way better than yesterday. Yesterday I was dragging. Today I feel freaking fantastic compared to yesterday. All the energy of the people that we're talking to is just transferring. Like summer where we go. We are a fresh 70 miles in for the riding today. We just rode through Uniontown, which everyone told us not to ride through, not to stop at, and definitely not fly the Trump flag. And I did, indeed, fly the Trump flag. We got a couple obscenities yelled at us by people at gas stations. Specifically, fuck you, Donald Trump. Fuck Trump. Get out of here with that Trump flag. But it has been done. The roads there were awful. The people there were not welcoming, and they are not a fan of Donald J. Trump. Also hit a thousand miles today. A lot of people didn't even think we would get to Jacksonville from Key West, let alone a thousand miles into the journey. Banging it out today, it's only about 6.30? I don't know, 6.30? We got 15 miles to the next town, Demopolis. I've been calling it Thermopolis or Thermopylae, which is I think an old Greek town. Legs feel good. Morale is high. Yesterday probably was my worst day ever other than the days I was sick. We are on our way. We're going to get some dinner somewhere in Thermopolis. Uh, in Demopolis. Made it to Demopolis. Apparently it's the best food in town. We're going to go get some food because we are starving. We're like 84 miles in today. good lunch was good coffee shop was good today was a good day fire station up six minutes away we're gonna go ask them if we can camp on their property firemen and policemen are awesome Demopolis fire department good to go really really awesome guys letting us stay here tonight we're gonna be camping yonder and they have an awesome bathroom facility that I'm gonna show you guys so not only do we get a safe place to stay but shower Tents over here, bikes over here. The clothes is hanging on the bike to dry overnight. Hopefully we don't hit dew point. Fire stations over here. The shower was over there. Highway 80 right here. We gonna need some earplugs. This is actually night 22. I think this morning I said it was day 21. Your brain turns to mush. Everything starts melting together. So it's night of 22. We rode over 85 miles today, I think closer to maybe 86. Okay, so Leo just checked. We did 88.8 .8 miles today. Clean, well-fed, great morale right now. Did a great riding day. It's about 10 o'clock, 69 degrees out. We're gonna sleep really good because we don't have to worry about dangers or anything like that. I can hear the road, unfortunately. That's the only downside of it. Here comes an 18-wheeler. Oh, legs are tight, hands kind of hurt, so that's a downside. But we got a hot shower, that's a plus. Charge stuff, that's a plus. Safe place to stay, that's a plus. Flat ground, that's a plus. So the, the pros way outweigh the cons right now. If you are enjoying this content, don't forget to give us a thumbs up to send us your prayers, your good vibes, your, all your good juju. If you have any questions about the bike tour, throw them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. And I will see you guys in the morning. That one, the spoke nipple is like busting out of it. It's like all cracked. It's got cracks all around both sides of it. So that's not good. 